everyone, welcome to Connected. I am Fabiana Espinosa and today my special guest is Nikki Welling, who is a placenta specialist and owns the company Cherished Placentas in the UK. On the next 20 minutes, we will speak about placenta encapsulation and how it is having a huge positive impact on mommy's postnatal recovery. Stick around, Connected starts right now. Nikki Welling was born in Greenock, Scotland in 1985. She moved to Bedfordshire with her family and her passion was acting. After having her first son, she decided to offer this amazing service to other mommies. Today, she owns cherished placentas and lives with her husband and with her two boys aged four and five in Norfolk, UK. It is my pleasure to introduce Nikki Welly. Nikki, thank you so much for being here today. You are talking to us all the way from the UK. It's already evening for you. We are in the middle of the day over here, but I'm very <laughs> thankful that you took the time to do this. Welcome to Connected. Nikki, yes. please tell me, how was your first approach to the placenta? How have you heard about the consumption of it? Okay, so um, I was pregnant with my first son and it was right at the end of my pregnancy that I had vaguely heard of it. Um, it sort of resonated with me, but I didn't really know the ins and outs of how to do it. Um, and I suppose being a first time mum, I just assumed that, you know, I'll just leave it. I'm going to be fine. Um, so I didn't actually do it with my first son. Um, and. I then fell pregnant with my second son and I knew I had to do it. I thought actually there was a lot of benefits that I struggled with with my first son. Um, things like um, I didn't produce enough milk, um, I had low energy, uh, baby blues, things like that. So literally thought you know what I'm definitely going to do this and I got talking to a good friend of mine and she's actually encapsulated hers so she knew a specialist and um, she gave me the details of her and yeah I called her up and booked her in and um, had my second son placenta encapsulated second son placenta encapsulated so yeah and um, that's how I got got into it really I see. I love how we women are always, you know, sharing tips and sharing experiences. So tell me, how was your experience actually doing it? Um, what what were the benefits that you saw instantly? So um, I opted for smoothies and capsules. Now smoothies um, is using a, a small piece of raw placenta blended in organic berries bananas um, and your spring water. Now, when I opted for them, I can't really remember why I wanted them, and um, but I did, and they turned up a few days after I'd given birth. And the first one I had was absolutely incredible. Literally within half an hour to 40 minutes, I'd say max, I felt my boobs um, were, were starting to tingle as if the milk had come in. And um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was overwhelmed. I was um, crying to my husband because last time it was uh, five days. It's quite painful. So um, that was one of the first benefits I like, experienced. And after a few more hours, I felt myself wanting more. Right. <laughs> as strange as that sounds, um, yeah, my body just took over and just felt like, oh my god, I, I need another one. So um, I actually had five in total, and I remember saying to my husband, you know, how many have I got left? <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, and after a couple more days, my capsules arrived, and um, just the whole healing process. But uh, I had a cesarean, and my midwife came around to check me, and she couldn't believe 
how well I had healed. I hadn't actually told her about the placenta because it was very unknown then as well, right. and I was quite embarrassed. You know, it, it, you, people didn't talk about this sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, healed amazingly, and the energy was unbelievable. I mean, every first time mum, or every mum knows that after birth, we feel knackered, you know? And yeah, I just had, I felt a lot more clear and focused, um, very energized. I also um, stopped bleeding within four days, which generally oh, wow. can go on quite a while. Yeah, and that's a big one, you know, with the iron thing. So, so yeah, I had an amazing experience, absolutely incredible. And um, I went from not telling anyone that I was doing this to shouting from the rooftops after I'd done it, you know? Um, it was something I had, to, I believed in 100% and I found myself talking to all of my pregnant friends that I had and begged them to do it and they went ahead and did it and then bit by bit people were saying, you know Nick, you really love this and you're really passionate and my husband was the one that said, you should you know, get into it and start training so I took a while training for it because I had a, just a new baby and I had a son that was 14 months and I wanted to spend all my energy with them and time but yeah, hundred percent loved it. <laughs> right, I see that. And then, how did you become a placenta encapsulation specialist? Okay, so it was um, one evening. My husband was w watching a documentary about placentas um, and how mothers are using them in the UK. Uh, next morning, he spoke to me about it. He said, "Nick, this is something I really think you should look into." So. I did. I started obviously um, doing my research and know what qualifications I needed and um, how long to train for. So I found a training provider um, that offered, uh, you know, a full course from start to finish. They basically provided everything that I needed, the support, the qualifications. Um, and the next stage was to go out and um, register my business as a food business so um, had to you know get the environmental health involved and speak to them about my processes and things like that so but it took me three years to from having my own placenta um, my son's placenta not mine sorry um, it took me three years from then to set it up set my company up because like I mentioned before I just had a full baby, newborn, I've got a 14 month old baby and I wanted to concentrate on being a mum and I always right. said when my second son turns three I will then do it and that's when it happened really so yeah. <laughs> I see and tell us about uh, Cherish Placentas which is the business that you waited so long and you prepared like you prepare yourself to open it. What are the products that you offer? Okay, so the main product are placenta capsules. Um, so I actually have a little one here. So this is what your placenta will basically get made into. Um, it's the main product they offer with my business. Um, everything else is an add-on, is a bonus of what you can use your placenta for. So you get capsule box, bottles, shall I say, um, and these are to be taken every day for eight points postnatal recovery, which is six weeks, four to six weeks, and you take one to two a day, uh, one to two, three times a day to help to, um, you know, replenish all the vitamins and nutrients and hormones that have been lost. Um, from this amazing product, you also can opt for a life term remedy which is called a uh, placenta tincture so the idea is a small piece of placenta is steeped for six to uh, no we changed it now so eight to ten weeks and then the tincture is made now this product is how we speak of it is a liquid form of your capsule so you add this so you have a oh, little droplet here into water and you use that as and when a lot of mums get this option ready for their menopause, which is fantastic. Um, again, it's obviously you know helping with the imbalance and things that we do go through as women. So that's a wonderful little added-on product. Um, 
And the other thing that's great that you can use your placenta for, um, a lot of people aren't aware that in cosmetics, in the um, cosmetic industry, sheep and cows placentas are used um, oh, in lots of their products because of their goodness. Um, you know, how it supplies um, the goodness to the skin. So I offer a bespoke service where you I use your own placenta and make your own unique placenta oil and with that it gets infused in um, like facial oils I've got um, um, mother and baby balm which is one of the main, um, best products that we sell it's very healing for mother and baby it can be used um, all over all over baby and all over mum so if baby's got cradle cap if baby's got dry skin um, you know acne spots it's incredibly nice. incredible healing so yeah there's lots and lots of wonderful products available those are great and I can only imagine how powerful and they work in a different way than other products tell me about the company the company is registered and inspected by environmental health what does that mean exactly when we talk about managing the placenta, picking it up? How is the process? How do you make it all safe and sanitary? So first of all, I've got a purpose-built building in my garden, so placentas are prepared there. The placenta, um, by in law, is, called, is classed as food. So we have to prepare our unit as if we're preparing um, food in a safe environment. We have strict protocols that we have to adhere to. We have our qualifications in HACCP and we have our food safety management system also. Now from start to finish we talk to mum, um, uh, she has a medical questionnaire so everything um, has to be signed off before she can even book in. Uh, once confirmation's gone through, the mum will then receive a placenta storage pack kit that she takes along with her to the hospital. She will explain to the midwife that she wants to keep her placenta. The midwife very happily nowadays will bag it up for her, place it into the kit. Um, Cherish placenta to get a corner specialist will collect. Now in that time frame, we have to make sure that we're monitoring the temperature at all times so when we arrive on site we will test the temperature when we arrive back to our unit we will test the temperature and it's all recorded um, and then the process is we process the placenta um, in the normal way so and then mum will get capsules delivered back between 24 and 48 hours after birth so she can start taking them straight away right and then in some cases and for some women this sounds so, um, how can I say, hardcore and it's so extremist, right? Mm -hmm. Because for others, when you look at animals and most of mammals, that's what they do naturally. So what would you say to the new mommies and to the new generations that are coming and they're listening, you know, they're hearing this, 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 this new, act. it's not new, but this type of action towards pregnancy. First of all, try and speak to any mummy that's done it, okay? Because you will just be able to see her excitement of how it's made her feel and it's given her that extra boost that's needed. Um, and also, you know, do your research. Um, it's very important to make sure it's for you. Um, and, you know, with, with the way we are with our life nowadays, we're very aware about our health. So we're very away, you know, out of society, throwaway society, um, you know, but things are coming back round now and we're beginning to understand actually what are we missing, what are things that are out there for us. But yeah, just, you know, really do research, speak to those mums, see the reviews and um, and just give it a go. Like, it's you've got nothing to waste. There's nothing to lose, sorry, by doing it. It's um, And you'll be able to look back and be one of those mums as well that have that amazing recovery. Right, and also the placenta is something that it's, it's your right, it's something that is yours. So why, why is the idea of losing it when you, when you give birth, right? So 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it's, we've got documentation back in the 1900s um, that tells us that we use our placentas through our postnatal recovery. It was something that, you know, we used, um, we'd fry it up, cook it, you know. Um, but throughout modern society, it's been lost, you know, and it's also, you know, it's, it sounds gross, it's something that makes people feel a bit ill. So, right. yeah, so now, um, just through different cultures using it as well, and it's becoming, you know, people are more about more aware of their health. They're not looking at it as like, oh, this is disgusting. It's actually like, you know, I want to have a look at this. You know, what is this doing? So people look like myself, branched out and thought, I'll just give it a go. You know, what is there to lose? Um, and because it comes back in a capsule form, it's um, a much more palatable uh, way of being right. able to introduce it back into the system. That is true. Nikki, I want to congratulate you and thank you for all the work that you do and for inspiring other mommies to have that beautiful experience that you have had. Please share your social media information. Go ahead. Okay, so my company is Cherish Presenters. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. You can contact me through email, which is info at cherishpresenters.co.uk, or you can, yeah, just drop me a message and have a little chat about um, any concerns or worries or um, questions that you may have. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nikki. A big kiss all the way to the UK. You are so far, but yet we are so close. Have a great one, and thank you so much again. Bye-bye. Bye. I know at first the idea of ingesting a placenta might sound horrific or way too extreme. But on the other hand, listening to the benefits and other mommy's experiences can definitely open a gap for discovery and daring. Learn more about it and remember to follow Cherish Placentas. To connect with me, send me an email or a private message on my Facebook page. Stay connected and until next time, Bye-bye.